Hi there, I'm Deidre Hall. I play Dr. Marlena Evans, and I'm here to join my castmates and the PR department and our hair and makeup people to uh, meet the fans and have a lovely festival day. Hi, I'm Drake Hogeston, and I play John Black on Days of Our Lives, and I'm here because we are celebrating the Day of Days event and the 48th anniversary of Days of Our Lives. The fact is we never get out in the marketplace, so we rarely get even to meet our fans. And to have all of us in the cast be here at the same time, which is phenomenal to begin with, and then have thousands of fans from all over the country come in for this event, is, it's, it's, um, it's daunting. Yeah. It's basically like any airport I've ever walked through, though. The fans of Days of Our Lives are amazing. <laughs> so, so, it feels like I'm flying somewhere. The thing about our fans is they are loyal to the last man. They, they stand by us. They, if they're not crazy about the storyline, they hang in there. Um, they write us, they watch us, they never give up, and we adore them for that. And we respond to them, and we're very, very respectful of their, uh, their loyalty and, and their love for certain characters and the emotional attachment they have, and, and we don't take that for granted. That's what it's all about. I've always, my theory has always been, as the numbers have declined sometimes in daytime, um, when emotional favorites sometimes are taken off the show, uh, the sound you might hear is like the grandmothers or the mothers maybe turning the channel or turning off the TV set. But as long as that set is on, the little eyeballs that are walking through the living room says, hey, Grandma, hey, Ma, what are you watching? Why, it's Days of Our Lives. That moment, that torch has been turned over here, and the, the banner has been passed. And that's why you have the great-grandmothers, the grandmothers, the mothers, and the children. So you really need to respect the people who have watched this show since for 48 years as of yesterday, you got to respect that core group and you will continue to bring in the younger demographics. It's not rocket science. I've also found that our show does something spectacular, which is we, we tackle topical subjects. And that enables a family, multi-generational family, to have that topic of conversation over the dinner table. So I, I've got an enormous number of letters during the gay story. <laughs> 